All right, we have starting pitcher John Gray here. We'll start with Thomas Harding. Uh, yeah, yeah, John, early on, you give up the home run and maybe not the sharpest throughout, but um, tell me how you were able to kind of work your way through this game and, and, and how you learned to work your way through games like this. Yeah, uh, the, yeah, exactly. I've been in this situation a lot. And, um, and it's a start like this is one of like the ones I appreciate the most because uh, you can be down, you know, three or four runs early on. If you stretch it out to six, six innings, seven innings sometimes, I mean, our offense always has a chance to catch up. And I mean, our defense today was unbelievable. Um, and we really put it on when they're late. It was, uh, it was a really fun one. Um, for you, it looked like you could break off some good sliders and some didn't quite go where you wanted. Um, what, what, what was your, how do you rate your stuff today and your control? Uh, not really. It wasn't really that great today. Uh, it felt, you know, out of whack early on. Um, I don't know if it was my tempo or what, but I'll have to watch some more video to find out. But uh, it's something that just felt off today. And I just felt like uh, maybe one out of every three pitches were a good pitch. So um, it was definitely a grinder. Um, after you started in Milwaukee, did you think, hey, I'm going to be on a roll where everything will move smoothly? Or have you gotten to the point to where you really can't count on that every time out? Yeah, I couldn't count on it. I was hoping. I was hoping, but uh, but I couldn't count on it. But I still tried to keep a, an aggressive mindset, even when we were missing. I was kind of spraying balls around. So um, I just tried to stay in attack mode and, and at least make them earn everything. So, um, yeah, that's kind of where my, my attack plan turned into. Thank you, John. Patrick Saunders. Hey, John. Uh if you don't mind, I'd like to ask you a couple of Herman Marquez related questions. Uh, if I said that he's the guy in your starting rotation who kind of sets the tone for all of you guys, would, would I be right on that? In, in other words, the game you threw last night and just the kind of pitcher and guy he is. Yeah, I think so. I think he's definitely like one of the most reliable guys. Uh, you know, he can always, he always has a chance to throw a great game like he did last night. So. Um, yeah, it's, but I still feel like, you know, Freeling can be that guy too. I've been that guy sometimes. And, um, you know, when we're all three rolling, like Sensatel has been that guy, like every, I mean, shoot, like we've all been in that situation before, um, especially when we're piecing everything together like that, when we follow each other up and have a good outing, it's, you know, it, 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 it's, it's a good feeling in the clubhouse. Do you think you guys are feeding off one another now and mostly the whole season? Have you guys fed off each other? Yeah, and it, you know, the first of the season was kind of tough for us and everything, but um, but I feel like right now, yeah, we're starting to kind of uh, be what we should be, I guess. So, um, yeah, I'm just looking to keep it rolling. Like, I know other guys are just now getting to the top of their game, and um, that we haven't seen their best stuff yet. Like, I, I think Freeland's still got a lot a lot left and, um, that we haven't seen, and uh, excited to see it. I think we're going to piece it together a pretty good second half. And one more for me regarding Herman. Uh, when you look at him as a fellow pitcher, uh, what what sticks out to you the most? What are the things about Herman that you think, wow, you know, he was on display last night, but what are the things that stick out for you? There's a lot of things, really, but um, just how unbelievably talented he is, for one. Um, and like just see someone use use a curveball like his it just, it, at elevation like this and just be absolutely disgusting. It's incredible. And, uh, you know, uh, he's one of the best fastball pitchers I've, been, uh, I've seen too. So uh, there's a lot that impresses me with him. But uh, just his, like, consistency to go out and battle, you know, you're going to get a good game from him. That's, like, the most impressive thing. I've seen. Okay, John, one more thing for me. You guys hit the official halfway point of the season now. Uh, you've been playing – not on the road, but at home, you've certainly been playing well. Do you think this team is starting to turn the corner a little bit to where it's getting an identity and we're, you're starting to be able to, to put some wins together on a consistent basis? Yeah, I think so. I think, I think we're definitely playing better than we were. I think guys are starting to understand their roles more. Um, you know, guys are starting to come out of their shell and play better too. I mean, look at, uh, if you look at um, Rogers right now, like he's starting to be the player that we know he is and, um, you know, guys are starting to break out and 
So it's, it's really fun to watch, but just to see all the kind of pieces of the puzzle come together, I think it's happening. And uh, yeah, I like definitely like the, the best baseballs in front of us right now. And yeah, I'm excited to see what, what kind of damage we can do. Great. Thanks, John. Danielle. John, when you don't have the start that you're looking for, what are you telling yourself after that first inning? Um, just to really just attack the zone, not give them anything. I, I, the walks kill me. I hate the walks, but uh, you know, we had a few there. But um, but just to attack the zone and make them earn everything. If, if I'm attacking with with every pitch, it's still going to be a tough you know tough time hitting the ball. So, um, but getting behind with off speed and just relying on your fastball, like. The first inning that happened, and, and when your stuff isn't feeling great, um, it's your competitiveness that takes over. Or are you just muscling through? Like, how are you able to get through that? Yeah, I think I think a lot of it's competitiveness. I think so. It's just kind of digging deeper, and um, I guess not trying to really say like force it, but um, you know, really give it me at. And um, sometimes that can be really rewarding. And like, I think today was a really fun game for me, even though I, I was ticked off the whole game, but. Um, but at the end, it's really nice to hold to hold them there and, and watch all things come by. Thank you, Kevin Henry. So, John, you're ticked off the whole game, and yet you earn your 50th win in your career. Does that make Does that make it a little sweeter? Or uh, yeah, I mean, I, I enjoyed the end of the game, just <laughs> not the first six innings. In, in the first three batters, the, the that's pretty hard hits on you, but then you finish the inning with two Ks. Did something kind of click there at the end of the first to kind of uh, stop the bleeding, or was it uh, just just finding that rhythm there momentarily? Um, I, I figured out that was leaving my fastball on the arm side. It wasn't really getting it glove side. So, um, yeah, it was one adjustment we had to make in the middle of the inning. But other than that, I mean, I, I think it was just uh, – yeah, I, I think we just buried down early and uh, – Kind of gave our best stuff there at the end of the first inning, but um, yeah, I could tell I was kind of spraying early on. Yeah, things were going left and right, but um, yeah, I just wanted to do whatever I could to get back in the zone, especially with off speed because they were on the basketball. Thanks, John. Final questions from Tracy. Hey, John. I mean, obviously, when you go out and you have one of your 15 or 16 strikeout games, it's fun, but when you sit back and think about working your way through a game like today, is there almost more satisfaction being able to figure out how to get through a game as to, as opposed to just dominating a game? Yeah, it really is. I mean, it may not be as much fun. And, and like I said, I was like kind of upset a little <laughs> for the most of the game. And um, yeah, it can seem like that, but when you really grind through something like that and, and it feels like a really good team win. Like there was a, a, like a lot of great defensive plays from Tapia to Anfield. And, uh, we just, it was just a, uh, it turns into something special, I guess. So kind of, you, you really feel like you earned that one. And uh, yeah, it, it feels good. I was gonna say, is that, is that also a sign to you that, okay, I've, I've now taken that step to being a a guy they can count on, whether I'm good or bad, I can still go out and figure out a way to win. Yes, yes, and and that's the thing you have to you have to kind of be that way too, pitching here of course, because I mean anything can happen, and you can be down like four or five runs in the first couple of innings, but if you stretch it out, like you know, there's a really good chance for him to come back. Thanks, buddy.